Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am Ken Eels, photographer for Randall and Roof. Today is Friday, October the 17th, 2014 AD. Uh, yesterday, Ken announced two new lenses. Um, actually, they're the same lens. They're just one's an EF mount and one's a PL mount. So basically, it's the same lens. It's just a matter of how you're going to, what kind of camera you have that you can attach it to. Um, so they've got a 50 to 1,000 millimeter T 5.0 to 8.9. That's an aperture of 5.0 to 8.9. One's an EF mount, one's a PL mount. So depending on uh, what kind of camera or video um, camera you have, whether it's still a video, um, there's a lens for you. It's seventy-eight thousand dollars, which is very expensive. It has uh, one point five times magnifier, which means it can go from fifty to one thousand. Switch it over to 75 to 1500. So that is a slamming, huge, big magnification. So basically, we're talking 50 to 50 on the wide, 1500 on the telephoto, um, which is amazing. I mean, it's just. Um, this is what can this what you're looking at is from USA.Canon.com. Um, and it, let's talk, I'm, I'm going to make a short video because I'm going to click on the individual uh, links here and then make another video. But I just wanted to make a little short little video and compare the EF to the PL. And most of them are going to be the same, I would assume, except for the fact that it's uh, one's EF and one's PL. So let's go over it and see if that is indeed the case. Uh, the top one, designed for EF mount cameras, switchable to PL mount as authorized service facilities. <laughs> so in other words, if you get one lens, if you buy it, a PL or an um, EF and you want to switch it, you can go to an authorized dealer and they can switch the mounting for you. So that's kind of cool. I'm sure that would be cheap and it's not something you probably want to do every day, but if you have to, I guess you can. Ultra telephoto, we already talked about this, 50 to 1,000 millimeter, 20 times zoom, 75 to 50 times with built-in 1.5 extender. Those 1.5 extenders are becoming very popular. Um, I don't know why they're not putting in a two times tele extender, um, but 1.5 or 1.4 extenders seem to be really popular right now. So, uh, 4K ready, high optical performance with support for a super 35 millimeter large format camera. So that's good. 11 blade iris provides natural bokeh. Cool. Designed for cinema style and broadcast applications. Detachable servo drive unit. Now, I think that servo drive unit comes with the lens. That's what it's sounding like. It sounds like it comes with the lens. You don't have to attach it, or you can, but it comes with it. So, um, that's cool. The fact that you can take it off, uh, but the fact that it comes with it. I mean, at $78,000, it's not like you're going to, you know, ooh, let's get something and then let's spend another $500 for a for a servo drive, I mean, it comes with it. So it's, you might as well, if you're paying 78 grand, you might as well get the drive motor with it. So that's good. I'm sure it's gonna come in a good case. I'm sure it's high quality glass, metal construction, heavy duty, top of the line. So <coughs> I would love to get my hands on this lens, um, but right now it's kinda of on my price range, 78 grand. Um, but there it is, that's what Ken has to say. And like I said, the only, the only thing, uh, I see that's different is the EF or PL mounts, and basically they're saying that if you buy one lens, you can and you and you for some reason you get a different camera or uh, or a different camera that has a different. For example, if you have an EF camera or a camera with an EF mount, and all of a sudden you buy a PL mount camera or vice versa, you can take this lens, which is seventy eight grand, which uh, you can take it to an authorized Canon uh, service facility. And have it changed from either PL or EF, so you can switch it. But I'm, again, there's probably a, I'm sure there's going to be a fee for doing that. But nonetheless, it can be changed if you buy it one time. You need to switch it to another, so that's a good feature. Though, um, I'm sure being an EF lends its manual focus, which I don't like, but such is, such is life. But there you go, awesome. Nice lens, 78 grand. If, if, this, if this was autofocus, the only problem I would say is going to be your f-stops and your and the price. <coughs> <coughs> the reason I say f-stops are a problem is because um, 5.0 to 
uh, isn't going to allow you to open the uh, aperture up as much as most photographers would like. Plus, it's not going to blow out the background as much as a lot of photographers would like. So there's, you know, one situation with two problems. Um, but overall, 50 to 1,000 with 75 to 1,500, amazing. Uh, that's huge. That's enormous. Um, 78 grand, high quality. Everything's good except the, it's got a few downsides. However, having said that, you could use it if I could afford it and it had autofocus. For the most part, I can use this for pretty much everything. Um, granted, I wish, like I said, I wish it was autofocus and I wish the aperture was able to go more open. So it'd be like a, a 2.8 or a 1.0. <coughs> but obviously, when you have something that's 75 to 1500, or excuse me, 50 to 1000 or 75 to 1500, you're not. You're not going to be able to get uh, a 2.8 or 2.0 or 1.0 without making the, the lens infinitely uh, more wide at the end. I mean, the, the, far, the part extending farther out from the camera. Uh, yeah, you can, you can make this lens with a 1.0 or 2.0 or 2.8, but the end of the lens would have to be a lot wider. I mean, a lot wider. Uh, to compensate for that, that would make it even more expensive. So, um, they're keeping their lenses within a certain size parameter, I'm sure. Um, but there you have it the Sin Servo 50 to 1000 millimeter with a uh, 1.5 teleconverter built in, which takes it to 75 to 1500 with an aperture of 5.0. To 8.9 available in the EF and PL mounts. So that's all I have for now. Until next time, I'm Ken Eos Photographer, Rally and Rips. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless. See ya. As always, keep taking those pictures.